Hey guys, Trust Rip here today with a video talking about Poppy. First off, let me start by answering the question in the title, is Poppy OP? Well, not exactly, however, now that I've got you here, let me explain why I think in the current meta, Poppy is actually really, really good in solo queue, both in top lane and in the jungle. I would definitely recommend learning her for solo queue for a few reasons. Firstly, she has essentially zero mechanical requirements, making her extremely easy to pick up. Secondly, she only gets stronger as the game goes on, meaning there's no timer on her usefulness, and as long as you don't go 0-10 in the early game, you'll be fine. She's not really a punishing champion for inexperienced players. Lastly, no one quite knows how to play versus her due to her being so infrequently picked and having a very obnoxious kit that allows for very little counterplay in itself. So that's why I'd recommend playing Poppy as a champion, but why do I think she's particularly good right now in the current meta? To be clear, what I mean by saying the current meta is what is popular right now and what is the optimal strategy for winning, i.e. with Cinderhulk and having tanks. The first reason is because for both top and jungle, tough early game matchups are less popular right now. The early game is Poppy's weakest point and she's able to get fairly heavily punished against bully matchups. However, like I said, in the current meta, it's mostly tanks being picked up right now. Even in the jungle, exceptions such as Rek'Sai are still going for tank build paths, thus lowering their early game potencies. In addition, top laners almost always pick teleport as well, again making it easy for Poppy to get through that early game without having to play versus an aggressive ignite setup. The next reason is a fairly obvious one. Poppy does a crap ton of damage to tanks thanks to the percentage health damage on her Q. In addition, popular tank items right now will be things like Cinder Hulk, Warmogs, Randwins, Frozen Heart, Thornmail, mostly things which give health and armor, not a lot of magic resist items. So not only does Poppy destroy people stacking health thanks to percentage health damage, but because her Q does magic damage and there's not a lot of magic resist flying around on these tanks, she does even more damage. The last big reason is because in team fights, Poppy can ignore that very common massive front line and dive straight into the targets at the back and take them out. These frontline tanks are perfect targets for Poppy's ult as well, because they can't do enough to stop Poppy from going past them and going on her rampage. Once Poppy has killed a backline target, it removes the biggest threat to your team and your tanks, meaning it's hard to lose those fights. When you have a Poppy, you can also destroy the tanks as well. Now, there are of course downsides to playing Poppy, which I'll quickly mention here. If you pick her, your team will lose a tank for your own team fights, so you may need to tank your target in a different role. Also, despite the champs that are hard to play against being unpopular, they still appear here and there, and you still could struggle if you face them. Lastly, Poppy is a pretty one-dimensional character. Despite having the ability to kill the enemy's front line, she really doesn't offer a lot as far as direct, defensive or peeling play goes, meaning your team may need a more defensive support to protect them. As far as your actual in-game build goes, you'll most likely want to go for a physical damage build, similar to what I'm showing on the screen here. This really helps you deal with the tanks and give other benefits such as improving your split pushing, your clear speeds and your sustained damage. For masteries, you want to get at least 21 points in offensive with the rest being somewhat preferential and your runes are a bit more up for debate, but this is what I like to run. If you want to see a highlight reel of my jungle poppy in action, then you can click the link in the description or on the screen now. But aside from that, if you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to me for more educational league content. You can find me on Facebook on Twitter and catch me streaming on Twitch as well. All those links are in the description guys. But most importantly, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video.